Formula 1 racing is a high-speed and high-risk sport, and drivers face a number of risks and hazards when they compete in races. But drivers around the world are fascinated to participate in F1 racing tournament. What makes them so fascinated to participate in so dangerous sport and risk their lives? Is that prize money or passion? Well, we are going to get all about Formula 1 in this video. Welcome you all on our beautiful and small channel. On which we making huge effort to give best stuff then don't wasting your time, let's go. Formula 1 cars can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. At these speeds, even a small mistake can have serious consequences. What make these F1 racing cars so speedy? Basically, Formula 1 cars are designed with aerodynamics in mind. They are built to be as streamlined as possible to reduce drag and increase downforce. This allows the car to grip the track better and travel faster through corners. These cars are powered by highly advanced engines that produce an incredible amount of power. The current regulations specify that engines must be 1.6 liter V6 turbocharged units, with hybrid systems that recover energy from the car's brakes and exhaust. These cars are made from lightweight materials like carbon fiber and titanium, which help to reduce their overall weight. This makes them more agile and allows them to accelerate faster. Cars use specially designed tires that provide maximum grip and performance. The tires are made from soft rubber compounds that allow them to generate more grip on the track surface. Are equipped with sophisticated electronic systems that allow for precise control of the car's performance. These systems help to optimize the car's performance and ensure that it is operating at its maximum potential at all times. Because of this invasive speed many safety measures are taken to safeguard the life of drivers. Despite the many safety measures in place, accidents can and do happen in Formula 1 racing. Collisions with other cars, barriers, or debris on the track can result in serious injuries or even death. One of the most notable incidents include the deaths of Ayrton Senna and Roland Ratzenberger at the 1994 San Marino Grand Prix, and the accident that left Jules Bianchi with fatal injuries at the 2014 Japanese Grand Prix. Following these incidents, Formula 1 has continued to implement new safety measures and regulations to further reduce the risk of injury or death. For example, the introduction of the Virtual Safety Car BSC, system, which allows drivers to slow down and maintain a safe speed during incidents on track, and the requirement for drivers to undergo medical checks after every race. The high speeds and tight corners in Formula 1 racing can subject drivers to extreme g-forces, which can cause physical strain and discomfort. Now, what this g-force is? Basically, g-force is a measure of the acceleration that an object experiences due to gravity or other forces, and they are expressed in multiples of the force of gravity, 1g. During a Formula 1 race, drivers can experience g-forces of up to 6 g's or more. This means that their bodies are subjected to forces that are 6 times greater than the force of gravity. These high g-forces can cause blood to pool in the lower part of the body, resulting in reduced blood flow to the brain and other organs. This can lead to symptoms like dizziness, blurred vision, and loss of consciousness. To minimize the effects of G-forces, Formula 1 drivers use specialized equipment like racing seats, harnesses, and helmets that are designed to support and protect their bodies. They also undergo rigorous physical training to build up their strength and endurance, and they use breathing techniques and other strategies to help maintain their focus and avoid fatigue. Racing in Formula 1 requires intense concentration and physical exertion. Drivers need to be in peak physical and mental condition to compete at this level, and exhaustion can lead to mistakes and accidents. Despite the risks, many drivers are drawn to Formula 1 racing because of the adrenaline rush and the challenge of pushing themselves to their limits. The sport also offers the opportunity to compete at the highest level of motorsport and to be part of a highly skilled and dedicated team. For some drivers, the prestige and financial rewards that come with success in Formula 1 are also a major motivation. The exact amount of money that a driver can earn varies depending on their performance, their team, and the specific terms of their contract. However, top drivers in Formula 1 can earn tens of millions of dollars per year in salary and endorsement deals. In addition to their salary, successful drivers can also earn prize money for winning races or finishing on the podium. Formula 1 distributes a portion of its commercial revenue to teams based on their performance in the championship, and teams can then choose to distribute this money to their drivers. Sponsorship deals and endorsements are also a major source of income for successful drivers. Top drivers are often signed to lucrative deals with major brands and companies, and these deals can be worth millions of dollars per year. The financial rewards for success in Formula 1 can be substantial, but it's important to note that the sport is highly competitive and requires a significant investment of time, effort, and resources to succeed. 
Drivers need to be highly skilled and dedicated, and even the most successful drivers can face significant challenges and setbacks in their careers. The origins of Formula One racing can be traced back to the early 20th century, when motor racing first began to gain popularity in Europe. The first recognized Grand Prix race was held in France in 1906, and it was soon followed by similar events in Italy, Germany, and other countries. In the years that followed, Grand Prix racing continued to grow in popularity, with new races being added to the calendar each year. However, it wasn't until the 1950s that the modern era of Formula One racing began to take shape. The inaugural Formula One World Championship was held in 1950, and it featured a series of races held in Europe and North America. The championship was won by Italian driver Giuseppe Farina, who drove for the Alfa Romeo team. Over the next few decades, Formula One racing continued to evolve and grow, with new teams, drivers, and tracks being added to the sport. The 1960s and 1970s were particularly exciting periods for Formula One racing, with drivers like Jim Clark, Jackie Stewart, and Nicky Lauda competing for championships and pushing the limits of what was possible on the track. In the 1980s and 1990s, Formula One racing began to attract a global audience, with races being held in countries like Japan, Australia, and Brazil. During this time, the sport also began to incorporate new technologies, such as computer-aided design and the use of carbon fiber materials in car construction. In the 2000s and 2010s, Formula One racing continued to evolve, with new regulations and safety measures being introduced to improve the sport. The introduction of hybrid engines and the introduction of new tracks, such as the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, helped to keep the sport fresh and exciting. Today, Formula One racing is one of the most popular forms of motorsport in the world, with a dedicated fan base that spans the globe. The current state of Formula One is strong, with a dedicated and passionate fan base, talented drivers, and exciting racing. The sport is constantly evolving, with new regulations and technologies being introduced to improve safety and competition. One of the biggest changes to the sport in recent years has been the introduction of hybrid power units, which use both gasoline and electric power to improve performance and reduce emissions. This has helped to position Formula One as a leader in sustainable technology, and has attracted new fans who are interested in environmentally friendly racing. Looking to the future, there are a number of exciting developments on the horizon for Formula One. One of the most significant is the introduction of new regulations in 2022, which are designed to increase the competitiveness of the sport and make the racing even more exciting for fans. In addition to regulatory changes, Formula One is also exploring new opportunities to expand its reach and engage with fans around the world. This includes the introduction of new tracks in countries like Vietnam and Saudi Arabia, as well as increased investment in digital and social media platforms to connect with fans. The future of Formula One looks bright, with continued innovation, exciting racing, and a growing fan base. While there are always challenges and obstacles to overcome in any sport, Formula One has shown that it is willing and able to adapt to change and continue to evolve over time. This year 2023 F1 racing is held in Australia from month of March. The 2023 FIA Formula One World Championship is a motor racing championship for Formula One cars which is the 74th running of the Formula One World Championship. It is recognized by the Federation Internationale de l'Automobile, FIA, the governing body of international motorsport, as the highest class of competition for open-wheel racing cars. The championship is contested over a record 23 Grands Prix, which will be held around the world, and began in March and will end in November. Drivers and teams compete for the titles of World Drivers' Champion and World Constructors' Champion, respectively. Max Verstappen, driving for Red Bull Racing Honda RBPT, is the reigning driver's champion, while his team is the reigning constructor's champion. I hope you have enjoyed this documentary video over Formula Racing. If you have here then you must like it and don't forget to hit subscribe button for more. Thank you so much for watching.